Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be reviewing the Violent Evergarden anime, so let's stop delaying and hop right into it. Starting with a real quick synopsis, Violet is our main character. She spent time in the military. She was essentially used as a weapon because she was pretty damn good at fighting. Eventually she loses both of her arms and the man she looked up to, so she basically gets sent home from the military with some new fancy metal arms and she starts working at the postal service. Eventually she becomes an auto member doll and that's just an overly complicated title for someone who writes letters for other people. Plot stuff happens and that basically sums up the synopsis for Violet Evergarden. The plot for Violet Evergarden is pretty simple but calling it simple feels a little wrong. Straightforward might be a better way to describe the plot. You have this whole war thing then you have the auto memory doll stuff and all the characters we meet through that aspect and the majority of the plot is honestly seeing Violet go through all of this stuff and try to make it to the other side. I would honestly say the plot is really good. The characters is where this anime shines through the most. For the most part, the characters are pretty good, like Violet's co-workers as well as her clients, but the character that really takes the spotlight is obviously the main character, Violet Evergarden. She develops so much throughout the anime, and I would say this anime is one of the best examples of character development. You have Violet going from a killing machine to writing love letters for people, it's a complete 180, and going Going along with that, we get to see Violet learn how to be an actual person and have feelings and emotions. She stays incredibly monotone throughout the anime, but there is some emotion in there. This whole character development aspect made me enjoy this anime a lot because it's really good to see. Violet definitely outshines all of the other characters for better or for worse. Seems like a lot of the time was spent on her and like her background as well and the others were mostly left out. Like I said that's for better or for worse depending on how you see it. I thought it was okay. Real fast we'll touch on character designs. They all have this like really old look to them. I don't know how to describe it. It's like some horse and buggy type shit. That's what I'm going with. Characters look like they'll be riding around on horses. I'm pretty sure they actually do, but that's how I would describe them. The funny thing is, it's set in like the past, you know? Like using typewriters and stuff. Very little technology, but Violet's over here with these very advanced looking prosthetic metal arms. It contrasts really well with all the old stuff. Hopping over to art, animation, and sound design. Art is pretty good can be very average at times, but other times it can be absolutely mind-blowing and beautiful. The animation is also pretty good. It flows really nicely. I didn't notice any hiccups or anything like that. Honestly, the animation was pretty top-notch. Sound design was alright. I don't really pay attention to sound design until something sounds messed up, and I didn't notice anything, so that means sound design is solid. Now getting to my final thoughts. I loved Violet Evergarden. I thought it was a great anime with amazing character development, and a somewhat gripping story. I don't think I could come up with one thing I didn't like, so for my final score, I would give Violet Evergarden a 9 out of 10, and I would definitely suggest checking this anime out because it's really damn good and I don't think it would disappoint at all. But that about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Violet Evergarden down in the comments. Also check the description for all my links and a synopsis for the anime. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later.